Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going to go over the brand new Spotlight Terrain event for Brute Bonnet and Iron Hands in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet going over all the details as well as the best builds to farm these raids with in your game. <laughs> So running over this coming weekend from the 22nd of March as of recording this video until the 24th of March, you're going to have the opportunity to go in and get both Brute Bonnet and Iron Hands in your games. Pokemon Scarlet players exclusively have Brute Bonnet featured on their map. Go through the details of Brute Bonnet first. It's going to be a five star raid, of course, level 75. Product synthesis is its ability with the move Spore, Seed Bomb, Payback, Stomping Tantrum with the additional moves Sunny Day and Taunt. It will not have any marks, but it will have the standard shiny raid. So it can be shiny, just going to be very rare. It will also be a random terror type as well when it appears in your map. No held items and no catch limits either on this one. The notable kind of series in the raid that you're going to watch out for, 50% of its health, it removes the stat drops on its side of the field. And at 25% of its health, it removes the stat boosts on your side of the field. So they're the two really big notable turns that you're going to watch out for in this raid the item drops of course with these raids aren't normally that great but this time around we are going to see herb mystica dropped with the brute bonnet and also the iron hands you're going to have a three percent chance on any repeated raids of herb mystica dropping and it will be primarily for sweet herb mystica so giving you really good opportunity this weekend to farm these events there's a little bit of an incentive there to go after these uh, just to farm for those Herba Mystica. This is going to be the signature kind of terror type for the raid, the poison terror type. Like I say, you will get random terror types for both the Brute Bonnet and the Iron Hands. But the signature terror type that you're going to see predominantly appearing on your map for Brute Bonnet in Pokemon Scarlet is going to be the poison terror type. Again, all of the attributes that we mentioned before, exactly the same as the random ones. There's nothing different here and you are still going to have the chance to get those sweet Herb Mystica. Now, if you are a Pokemon Violet player, you're predominantly going to see Iron Hands featured in this raid event over the weekend, and it will be level 75 again. Quark Drive ability with the moves Wild Charge, Drain Punch, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, and additional moves are going to be Electric Terrain and Rock Slide. Again, it can be shiny, won't have any marks, and its Terra type will be random as well. Notable turns to mention in the raid itself. Again, a bit like the Brute Bonnet on that 50% of its health, it is going to remove the stat drops on its side of the field. And at 25% of its health, it's going to remove the stat boosts on your side of the field. So again, a lot like the Brute Bonnet. And again, the item drops, it is going to drop the Sweet Herba Mystica in those repeat raids after you've beat it the first time. The first time around, the base drops, it doesn't look like you're going to get Sweet Herba Mystica there. But every time after that, it looks like you will have the chance to get Sweet Herba Mystica with this raid along with that Brute Bonnet. And the signature terror type for this raid for the Iron Hands, predominantly you're going to see more probably of the Grass terror type with the Iron Hands. But we'll get into the perfect build in a moment for this one. This raid running for these two Paradox Pokemon over this coming weekend from the 22nd of March until the 24th. So to access this event in your game, you're going to need to make sure that you are connected to the internet and then come down to your Poker Portal. Once you are here, come down to Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal News. This will just update all of your raid dens on your map. And once you've done this, you'll be able to come onto your map and locate the Spotlight Terror Raid event den for the relevant Pokemon that's featured in your game. Again, Brute Bonnet will be featured primarily in Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Hands will be primarily featured in Pokemon Violet. Of course, if you do want to access the other version exclusive in this raid event over the weekend, if you have a Nintendo Online subscription, you can go online, hop into raids hosted by other players hosting those version exclusives that you don't have access to in your game giving you the chance to get these Pokemon with your own OT. Now the build that I'm going to recommend for this event over the weekend for both the Brute Bonnet in Pokemon Scarlet and the Iron Hands in Pokemon Violet is going to be Annihilate. It's going to be able to go into both of these raids regardless of the terror type of these Pokemon. Obviously they're going to be random terror types for the majority of the time but going to be able to beat them very very quickly. The Annihilate build will be featured down in the description below if you want to take a close look at the details after the video but it will be set to level 100. Hyper Train so make sure all those IVs are set to 31. Ghost Terror Typing here is the preferred terror type I would suggest just because you're going to take advantage of Rage Fist probably more than you are the Drain Punch. Held Item is going to be the Expert Belt and the moveset is going to be Screech, Bulk Up, Drain Punch and Rage Fist with the ability it's its standard ability is vital spirit that's important if you're going up against a brute bonnet because it does have access to spore 
and with vital spirit you have the immunity to spore so you're not going to be affected by that sleep condition ev spread here is going to be 252 evs in hp 252 evs in attack with an adamant nature and the rest of those evs put into defense so that is the build for the annihilate and it's very easy going into the raid against either of these targets so like i say if you are going in on pokemon scarlet and going up against the brute bonnet on turn one you are going to see the brute bonnet set up a sunny day after the raid begins now to start the raid off with annihilate against the brute bonnet we're going to set up two bulk ups then after this we're going to go for screech three times that's going to lower the defense stat on that brute bonnet to minus six and then by this stage in the raid, you should have taken a flurry of attacks, at least five attacks from the Brute Bonnet, boosting the power of Rage Fist. And depending on the terror type, of course, of the Brute Bonnet, then you're going to go for the Rage Fist. If it is a normal type, you're going to go for the Drain Punch. But if you're launching the Rage Fist off after the two bulk ups, that's plus two attack stat. You've got the Expert Belt boosting that as well. And then the Brute Bonnet's defense stat down to minus six. You're going to be able to pick up a knockout before it really is able to do very much else in this raid and it makes for a very quick and easy way to farm this raid over the weekend especially if you are looking to farm those sweet herba mysticas while this event is running now for you violet players i would recommend this same exact build and the same exact setup you're going to come into the raid against the iron hands turn zero it is going to set up an electric terrain that's not going to affect really anything going into this raid again you're going to set up two bulk ups to begin with that's boosting our attack and our defense by two stages. And then we're going to go for three screeches again. That's going to lower the defense on the Iron Hands by minus six after the third screech. And then at this point, again, depending on the terror type, as long as it's not a normal terror type Iron Hands, launch off that Rage Fist. You'll have taken enough attacks here to boost that Rage Fist to a point where with these additional boosts that you've already set up, it's going to be enough to pick up the knockout, making this a very quick and easy raid for you to run through with a Pokemon that you've probably already got built in your game. And of course, if you have cleared all the raid events on your map and you want to respawn them after beating them, then come into your home menu, then down into system settings, down into system, and then into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off. Toggle through all of the date and time options, click OK, then back into your home menu, back into the game, and all your dens will respawn and you'll have a new set of these Terror Raid event dens. So that is everything for today's video, friends. Like I say, the Annihilate, probably the best build because not only is it accessible to everyone because it's in the base games, but it's probably something that you already have built in your game and it's going to take very little effort to put together to run through these events over the weekend while they're running. To farm for those Sweet Herba Mysticas that are available as reward drops for beating these over the weekend while the event is running. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this event if you are taking part in it and i think the additional sweet herba mystica drops that we get from these events is actually pretty nice to see so hopefully that continues as we go on maybe the next spotlight terror Raid event that we do get has salty herba mysticas which is definitely probably still the most desirable herba mystica to get out of all of them that we have available in the games but like i say that is everything hope the build's been helpful if it has do drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and thank you for tuning in to today's video. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the event over the weekend. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.